Okay, so when you're ready to do your foot, I'm showing you how to get rid of the newspaper if it gets stuck. I'm using a paper clip, and they are in this green and blue bowl that you can use. You bend them, and you make sure that you return them so we don't waste them. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to take a metal flexible rib and rib the outside to get it smooth. I've got my clay inside. I'm going to check my thicknesses one more time. Once your pot's made, you can use the paper clip and check your thicknesses. There it is right there. It's the same. We're good. I'm going to work on a piece of newspaper, and right here is the edge of the flat part of the bottom of the pot. So I'm outlining it for you. You're going to put your foot, which is a half inch piece of clay, right there. I'm going to move this to the side, leave that there, and here's my clay. Remember, when you have your clay, it should be soft and it stretch marks, but it doesn't crack. If it cracks, add water and squeeze it in. You start with your clay like this in your hand. And notice I'm squeezing it and getting it small or longer. And I'm going to roll it on the table slow, and you must stand up. You must stand up. You must stand up. Hopefully you heard that. Okay. If it gets thick on one side and thick on another, you tap it like this. You tap it on the other thin side, and you roll slowly. You want it fatter than your index finger because when you attach it, you blend it, it gets thinner. Okay, so now I take this, I'm working on newspaper still, overlap your foot, lay it inside the circle, and you cut it at a diagonal. Okay, now the clay is plastic, my pot's plastic, so they'll fit well together. Notice how thick this incising or deep it is. And I'm gonna cover that, because that's the only thing holding your pot onto your, uh, your body onto your foot. And so that's really important that it's deep. You also are going to score this really deep where it attaches. So anytime you have two pieces of clay, you score really deeply everywhere where you want the two pieces to stick together. So it's here, and it's here. You put it on. You're going to need a skewer for this if it's a small foot or your finger. You're going to lay it on top of here. Take the end of the skewer. Non-writing hand holds the clay, and you push the clay in, uh, from the foot into the body. So you can do it this way if your hand fits. Notice I'm rotating on the newspaper. This hand stays and the foot is getting thinner and that's what's gonna, that's why your foot has to be thicker than your index finger when you start. Blend it all the way around on the inside. Blend this. Then you work on the outside. Inside finger holds while your thumb can go like this. You can use a tool and go like this, but you're making the crack or the separation. The two become one just by scoring and blending. If you don't, you're saying it's okay that air gets inside and it's okay if they fall apart, which you don't want them to do. So you go like this all the way around, holding in support, blending. Your foot's getting thinner. It should be a half inch tall. Rub it to blend it in here. And then we're going to go to the corner of the table for the final little security check. So right here on the corner, you take, you have to stand up, you have to stand up, rock and roll it as you go around. It'll make it a little bit more of an indent where the foot and the body touch, and it'll make it stronger and more graceful and taller. Remember, it's supposed to be at least as tall as your fist and at least as wide, so I'm okay on this one. Now that that's done, I'm going to do the board. board goes on top, and you get eye level to check to see if it's flat. It's a little high on this side, so I'm going to tap. And anywhere where it's not touching, I push the clay up. So I rotate. It's uneven. I tap. I push. I rotate. I tap. I push. And then I take that off, and I check one more time. I'm going to take my skewer, and I'm going to put my initials in the center or on the foot here, and I'm going to need to write the period as well. Once this is done, I have to leave it on its lip to dry because the foot is now the softest piece of clay. So I'm stuffing it with my extra clay and newspaper, and I'm going to wrap it up in newspaper that is wet and it doesn't make any noise, and wrapped up in two plastic bags, two plastic bags, two plastic bags with no holes, with no holes, with no holes. Cut.